Howdy guys, welcome back to another accessory showcase. Today I'm back in the US server of GetUp2 because a new app has just been released in the Prime Market for 600 Crescent and I immediately went and bought it because everyone was telling me that it was really powerful in GAT, Mega Force, it's quite a universal accessory, there's quite a lot of attacks. Um, and I decided I've got the Kres, so I may as well just go and buy it. And it doesn't look like there's that many attacks. It might be quite powerful for a prime market accessory, but the only way we can find out is by going to the dojo now and seeing all of its attacks. I've got Del Shadow, Electra, and Gose with me in the party. Silver Bowls and DMB are just here hanging out, but let's go to the dojo now and let's see its attacks. And Gose, you're not in the party, I added you twice. Oh, you don't know how good it feels to see attacks in English once more. A a assess combo. Oh, fucking hell. How much range? I want to know how much range. It does actually have quite a bit of range. And I wonder how... F so it looks like you can punch the enemy with the first hit, you shoot a bullet for the second, and then a missile for the third. The missile actually does have some lock-on potential there. It's slightly, like, it's slightly curved to try and hit Del Shadow instead. I was wondering if I could hold it. I don't think I can hold it. No, you can't. So it's those three attacks there. The, the punch and then the two bits of brain. Now for the strong combo, severe shot and vital shot. Oh, so you're using the sniper rifle there. There's three different guns here, in fact. There's a missile launcher, a sniper rifle, and a small pistol. Del Shadow, stop attacking in the background. You're making too much gun noises. So I think it's just the two hits. Two sniper rifle hits, which have a lot more range as well. Like a little bit more range, it's still like kind of a... Oh, that was the stronghold! So it doesn't, it doesn't look like the attacks are holdable e here either. It's just like lots of range, just generic like good ranged attacks it seems. Twin shot is the strong jump attack. Ah yeah, so you're shooting down twice. Gose actually described this accessory earlier as Raging Grace without the swords, and I'm seeing it now with the, the jump X especially with shooting those two bullets there. But I, I think I kind of like it, like the fact that there's all these different guns, it's really cool. Weak Hold, Cruel Sniper. Oh! So it holds down for quite a long time, one, two, three, and then you can shoot it. Does quite a bit of damage as well. Two, three, boom. I think the final, like, the third. One, two, three. Oh, and you can aim it as well. So while I'm aiming, I can turn around. Um, it did 233 damage when it was fully charged. But if I... So that's the three. And that's if I keep holding it. It didn't do any more damage, so it's kind of like the Prussian, Ka Prussian Kaiser. You can keep holding it after it's done the three charges, but it won't do any more damage. So that was after two, and that was after one. So the one and the two did kind of the same damage, but the third is quite powerful. That is as powerful as a special attack there. And that is actually also the inherit of this accessory that we hold. Here it is on the dual gladia. Holding down the weak holes. There you go. And how much damage does that do? 112. So this does a lot less damage as an inherited skill. Unless... Unless it's actually dependent on tick. Because I'm using this with night gear. There it is. Ruthless sniper. The weak hold attack. If I am able to use the dual gladia with like soldier or anything. I want to see that if I can. Where is it? I've lost it. It is. Maybe martial artist? Yeah? It might do a bit more damage. I think so. This attack is, is dependent on tech. So yes, that did 225 damage with the martial artist style. It did more, yeah. So the weak hold is dependent on tech, so don't get it on an accessory like the dual gladiator, which is high strength or anything like that. But yeah, that's the weak hold and the inherit attack as well. The stronghold, we saw this by accident earlier. Homing fire. I think I accidentally... Yeah, so if you if you hold it down for a short period, if you hold it down for a short period right beside someone, it actually um, just shoots right in front of you like that. Like that. But if you hold it down for a longer period, it shoots up and it locks onto an enemy. Fuck, that's powerful. It doesn't actually do that much damage. It doesn't like, do any large knockback or anything. But it does like automatically lock on from wherever you are. Do I even have to be aiming for it to hit? No, I don't. It just went and hit Gose over there. That's an OP attack. 
Fuck, I can imagine people spamming that. Spamming the shit out of that. Looks like Blazing Arch specials. Like, you just like... Doesn't use any MP either. Just like, oh, okay, I'll just... Just keep doing that. Doesn't do that much damage though. It's annoying. But it doesn't do a huge amount of damage. Just, just like a little bit of knockback. And stuff. Yeah. Alright, now we're on to the special attacks. I'll do the special attacks on you guys, because I've been fighting Gose the whole time. Um, with the standing special up first. Special attack missile catapult. So it looks like three big missiles with quite big knockbacks, and they sort of like... Four of them are shot out, and they lock onto the nearest person. Yeah. So they went over Gose there, and just decided to get something to pick up instead. That's pretty good, actually. Missile catapult. Special dash is Operation Victory. Is this going to be a combo? A kick, shooting loads of bullets. That, that's reminding me of the Raging Grace, definitely. Where you sort of like shoot around, but then you slash at the end instead. Boom! Sniper rifle with a bit of knockback there. And seamless fire is the jump special. Whoa! What the fuck? I sort of like went back down. Is there meant to be like a big like... That's a weird attack. Do I hold it down? No, that's a really weird attack. Do you guys know how to use this? That's a combo move? I don't know. That's kind of weird. So you just followed that up with the standing special there. But that's kind of a weird attack. Like, it doesn't, like, likely a combo. Because it doesn't really have, like, a finishing move okay. there. So, like, shoot, 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 shoot. And that's it. I'm back here. So I can go. Boom, 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 boom. And then the standing special or something like that. It's sort of, like, it does put some distance between you and the enemy, though. So that is one. Good thing, it could be used for anti-air. Yeah, so you sort of just like, you shoot down, but also curve around as you're coming back. Cool, all right, and the standing super special. I'm probably gonna shoot up more missiles. No, four again, with more probably more damage as well, and maybe more lock-on as well. Maybe they go a bit further. But if I can try and get Gose from all the way over here. Oh wait, that wasn't the super special. Here's the super special. It's curving and getting electric instead. Yeah, so I think it has more range and more damage as well. That's still doing the same amount of damage as the hold weak C though, the aiming attack. So that's, that's so powerful, that's actually really good. Um, run super special, probably more hits and stuff. More firing. Sniper rifle in midair. Big knockback, massive knockback. Yeah, Gose went all the other, all the way to the other side of the map. And lastly is the stat jumping super special, which is the same. It's just like, oh, I'm going to shoot you and come back down. This is like a little bit more damage, but it doesn't actually do much. I don't like the weak jump. Maybe there's a special way to use it or something like that. There must be a way that you can combo it well or, yeah. Anyway, time for Laurie's review. Pim, 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 pim. This accessory is very good. I think for a Primark accessory, there's no there's no wonder why they bumped it up to 600 Kres instead of 400 or 500, which is the normal price of a lot of these Crescent Primark accessories, because it's really good. Like the weak hold C, the aim attack, where you just like, it does the same amount of damage as a special attack, pretty much. In the third, like, sh shot up mode. Is the range any good? I don't think the range is that good. Now the range is actually quite good. Del Shadow was able to hit Electra from all the way over there. The jump special is kind of weird. The special attacks are pretty standard. Um, with not much knockback, they sort of do like an upper, upper cutty knockback. But yeah, it's really good. Like the fact that it's three different guns. This is actually really cool. I think it gets a lot of like coolness points extra because of that. Ultimately, yeah. Definitely worth a purchase. I would, I think it's good that I purchased this over doing a draw or something like that because I'm guaranteed to get a really good accessory without throwing my money away and getting a load of blacks and blues and stuff. But yeah, very good accessory. Definitely get it while you can. I mean, not while you can. There's no special offer or anything. It's just here. It's here in the Prime Market at 600 Kres. That's the price. Thanks very much for watching this accessory sh sh showcase. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching this accessory show, guys. Click here to check out some other ones. Fuck, I botched it up, didn't I? Thank you, Del Shadow, Electra, and Gose for joining me as test dummies for this new accessory here in the US. <laughs>